Well, we're here at the museum talking with Terrence Dye today, mm -hmm. and uh, we realized that here in our collection, we have fashions for, for every occasion from death to birth, and uh, we're looking at some of those with Terrence because mm -hmm. he's a fashion specialist, a stylist, and uh, we, um, we brought up Gail Kirkpatrick. And, um, and when we did that, Terrence was talking about um, how someone from here can go out there and make it big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Um, a lot of this is inspiration to me, just even being here to see this museum. Um, it inspired me to believe that, okay, in my journey, someone set the, set the ground before me. Mm -hmm. And um, to see all that Gail Kirkpatrick done in his life is definitely like an inspiration to me. Um, I left here in 2009 in pursuit of my fashion dreams all the way to Nashville. And a lot of people told me when I first left, like, you know, they wished me luck, but they was like, you know, fashion's not really known around Mississippi like that. So once I got to Tennessee, I, it was a way to show people that there is fashion in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people would question, like, so where are you from? And I'd tell them Mississippi, they would think I'm from New York or yeah. California somewhere. And so to be able to bring that back home and to show people that dreams do come true, you can be a fashion model, you can be a fashion designer, mm -hmm. you can do anything you put your mind to and be right here from New Albany, Mississippi. I know that we have a, a, a little program called Museum Kids, and they looked at uh, Gail Kirkpatrick, and, you know, this is one of his wonderful dresses, I think that was in Life Magazine, here behind me, and uh, they said, well, you can't be from here and do that. Wow. But you can. Uh, he was on the, the cover of many magazines, and mm -hmm. uh, he designed for a lot of movie stars, and he was uh, a designer on the cusp of a lot of cultural changes in the mm -hmm. 1960s, you know. He was, I don't know that you can say he's the inventor of the miniskirt, but mm -hmm. he was one of the inventors of the miniskirt, and you just wow. see all this fabulous stuff and then you can just kind of go through his designs and see things that are still being worn today yeah, that are mm -hmm. that are very classic so um, you can be inspired by Gail Kirkpatrick and you can learn from him mm -hmm. and uh, and also we have uh, clothes for Victorian morning mm -hmm. and we have clothes for every occasion every occasion <laughs> here we've got some handmade uh, clothing because most of us grew up in, in my decades, I guess, that our parents, our mothers made our clothes. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have some handmade things in the collection that uh, reflect that era. Um, now in, in your world, mm -hmm. you're putting things together, you find a look and that's how you're... I kind of, um, a lot of people are stuck in just one way of thinking, one way of mm -hmm. dressing. A lot of times we buy the same color, if blue is your favorite color. A lot of times when you go shopping, you buy blue. Um, so what I do is try to take people outside of their box, mm -hmm. colors that look amazing on you, fits that look amazing on you. A lot of times we all, men and women, buy things too big to try to cover up, things too tight sometimes just to try to sneak it in. <laughs> so what I'd like to do is make sure that you got the proper fit, everything looks really good on you, and you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. And um, one main thing about fashion for me is it's not about the clothes. Um, the clothes don't, doesn't make you. It's about you and the, how you feel about yourself. And so a lot of this piece of what I do is we have a lot of one-on-one -on -one consultations about how do you feel about yourself because I can't just take you and throw you in a fabulous dress if you have no confidence to wear it. So it's all about confident building. It's about making you feel comfortable with yourself mm -hmm. and to watch this transformation happen for you and your life. And I'm really blessed and fortunate to be able to teach people how to do that. Well, you know, I've seen you uh, as you've come in the museum at different times and I mean, you're always like dressed up every time and I'm thinking whoa where's that guy been where's he going because you look like you're like just stepping off the plane from New York or something yes, you, is that just how you live your life um, something that I was taught roughly fifth sixth grade uh, my mom taught me about carrying myself with a certain level of class mm -hmm. and um, it just kind of stuck to me it wasn't about what today was what tomorrow is it was about the moment and how I wanted to be perceived or how I wanted the people to to see and show me respect, not mm -hmm. because, um, you know, I look like everybody else. Right. I wanted to be my own individual self, and I'm thankful that I had a, a, a parent to mm -hmm. teach me about individuality and about being who you want to be. 
Well, let me ask a question. Do you dress your mom? Do you fa outfit her? Now, that is a lines? question. No one has <laughs> ever asked me Well, you me know, before. you should if you don't. <laughs> I don't have to. She's still giving me pointers to this day. She's the... She's critiquing me like when I come home and she see an outfit, she's critiquing me. Okay. Like, that's the, the opinion that, that matters to mm -hmm. me. If she say it ain't right, it ain't right. <laughs> but most of the time, I've always got the thumbs up. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I come from a, a good teacher and a good mm -hmm. line of, of, of people that showed me the way. Yeah. And I'm truly thankful out of all the companies I've been able to work for, all the people I've been able to dress, that now I get to come home and present this to my hometown of New Albany, Mississippi. So I really hope people come out and to see this um, this event, this fashion event. Yeah. I know it's a little something different, but it's a wardrobe and it's about showing people how to take what little they may have or much as they may have and make the best of it. Well, it is a little different, but then it is a little bit of the same. You know, we've got the Cody Award here that was right. given to Gail Kirkpatrick and uh, we have a whole uh, wardrobe of his fashions through the years. So mm -hmm. this is kind of a, a thread we're pulling. Not, yes, ma'am. And uh, we're going like to see that. where it goes. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thanks. I'm looking forward. I'm hoping everybody comes out. Yes.